Welcome to USI's instructional video on how to thread your roll laminator. These instructions can be used with most make and model roll laminators, but today we'll be using the USI CSL 2700. The first step in threading your film would be to remove your heat guard and your threading board. When threading your film, you want to make sure that your machine is off and the heat source is cool to make this a much easier process. The most important thing when you thread your roll laminator is to make sure you load your film on properly. This process is made easier with the USI color code system. All you're going to do is match up red to red and blue to blue when placing your film on the roll laminator. You always want to make sure that the coarse side of the film is facing out. So if you're not using the USI color code system, feel your film. The smooth side should be facing the heat source, while the coarse side, which is your heat activated adhesive, should be facing away from the heat source. Next, we're going to put our mandrel through our film. Make sure you twist up so the gripper dogs do not impede your process. We are then going to load the top roll onto our laminator. We will then thread the film underneath the idler bar here and let it hang over the top as so. We will then repeat this process on the bottom. Again, making sure that the coarse side of your film is facing away from the heat source. Twist. And place on your unit. Now remember, when using a heat shoe machine, you can use any size film you want. Just make sure the top and bottom rolls match up. As you can see, we have the film threaded underneath the top idler bar, threaded underneath the bottom idler bar. The film is overlapping, and we're going to take a piece of scotch tape and tape the film together so that your laminator should look like this. Now we're going to thread the film through the machine. To do this, you can use a threading board, or if you don't have a threading board available, just take a couple of office manila folders. We're going to press forward on your machine and push the folders through. Make sure to give it a good push. Okay, we have the manila folders about halfway through. This is a very important part of the process. You want to make sure that you guide the manila folders to the second set of rollers. Once your film is through, you want to grab it immediately and pull it through to make sure that the film doesn't curl up and wrap around your back rollers. The final step of this process is to simply turn the heat on your machine and remove the excess film off the back using scissors or a simple zippy cutter. We have our excess film, the heat is on, give your machine about 15 to 20 minutes and you should be good to go. Thank you.